street alone 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 her head was down face locked on to the phone phone and i wished i had a number so i could be color unknown and then i tell her to look into my eyes and never let it go Squad, how is everyone doing it today? Today it is July 23rd, I think, and it's a brand new week to vlog. So I hope you guys all enjoyed last week's vlog. If you guys still haven't checked out that vlog, as always, link will be in the description. Start off the week with some ground turkey. I just put some uh, granulated onion powder and black pepper, and I might just add some Mrs. Dash to this ground turkey. And I'll have that with romaine lettuce. I'm actually having a low carb lunch because I want to have some carbs for dinner. Because so I want to have some steak and some baked potatoes for dinner. So that's why I'm having low carb for lunch. I've always thought, let's have low carb for lunch. So that way you can have at least one big meal with carbs. That's why I've always stuck with. I'm not sure if you guys agree, but let me know what you guys all do for your diet. Let me know in the comment section below. I've done also, I've also increased my protein, so I'm having a lot more protein than carbs, but I'm having um, moderate carbs to high protein to low fat. So I'm trying to have as less fat as I can and having more protein because a lot of people were telling me that I should increase my protein for uh, losing weight. I'm not sure if they were correct, but... Uh, if anyone can let me know, because I'm not a nutritionist, so I don't really know. But uh, I read online that increasing your protein intake helps a lot. Here is my turkey, almost done. I want it to completely be cooked. Yes, I can see the comments coming. You gotta cook your turkey. Yes, I am cooking my turkey. Some leftover romaine lettuce that I had cut up for the tacos the other night. So I'm going to add my ground turkey to my lettuce. Make a little low-carb lunch. Ground turkey, I also added some pink Himalayan sea salt with some Mrs. Dash. So in combined, I added some uh, granulated onion powder with some pepper, Mrs. Dash, and then the um, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. That's what I added for my seasoning. Because salt, you got to have salt in food to make it flavored. Not much, but uh, pink Himalayan sea salt is way better than the regular table salt. I've done eating lunch, and now I'm having my 310 lemonade. The watermelon. This is my favorite flavor. The watermelon uh, 310 lemonade. So if you guys ever tried 310, definitely try the watermelon lemonade. I'm not sure if they still have it, uh, but uh, if they do, definitely get it. This morning I got a box in the mail from Snack Crate because I had bought a box about 10 or 11 days ago. And I just got it today, so I just got done filming the review. So I hope you guys all stay tuned for that review. Once it's up, I'll let you guys know in the vlog and follow me on social media. That way you guys know when videos are posted. Squad, how is everyone doing it today? Today is July the 26th. It is a Friday. And I'm going to show you for the first time on what I eat in a day. I know I started this whole lifestyle change on Monday, and I didn't vlog for a couple of days because I wanted to get adjusted to this new lifestyle change before I start filming. So today I'm going to show you guys what I do in a day. The thing is I have my 310 shake. So I put about uh, 10 ounces of water with a shake. I normally would have made a smoothie but uh, I've been enjoying these shakes just, just with water because I want to get them down and have my protein. And then with the shake I want to have something at least to eat so I throw in a banana. And then uh, about two hours later, then I'll have lunch. So I'm going to be making my shake. I'm going to do 10 ounces of water. I eat around 10 to 11 ounces, just between that. They say 12 ounces, but I read online about 8 to 12 ounces what they recommend. So I do go in between 8 and 12, so what, 10 11? So I got the strawberry shake for 310. So I got my scoop. Well actually yeah, is it even? Yep. So 310 strawberry shake. Spilled some on the stove. 
Yeah, that should be. Yep. So I got my shake. And just shake it. So I have my shake, and like I said, I throw in a banana just to have at least something beside liquid. And then after that, about two, three hours later, I have lunch. Back home after doing my flyers, and I'm super hungry, so I'm going to have lunch. This morning I had a banana with my 310 shake. You guys all seen that. So now I'm going to have a uh, broccoli coleslaw with uh, ground turkey. Ground turkey right here. I just added about a teaspoon of soy sauce for the uh, salt and for some flavor. I added some Mrs. Dash as well. No sodium. So that's why I added the um, soy sauce. Got this broccoli slaw from Food Basics. It was 50% off. The date is for July 27th, which is tomorrow, which is fine because I only bought one and I know I'm going to eat this before 20, the 27th. So, like I said before, uh, when you see good sales, like 50% off on products, look at the dates. If you can eat them before the date is done, then why not? Saves you some money and you're eating healthy at the same time. This has is broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage, so it's all healthy, uh, zero fats. Uh, 5 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein, and 25 milligrams of sodium. So it's very healthy. I just uh, add this with the uh, ground turkey, and that's my lunch. Low fat, low carb, and great tasting. At about an hour later, I'm going to have a toast, a Damster's honey and oat toast with some peanut butter just for a little bit of sweetness, and it kind of gets me over my uh, sweet craving. So... If I'm hungry for like a donut, for instance, instead of having that, I'll just have a toast, a Danster honey oat toast with some peanut butter. So peanut butter has protein in it, so I'm having my protein, plus I'm having something sweet and healthy. Oh, I'm actually just going out for a walk to the bank because I got paid today for my newspapers. So every time I get paid, I withdraw the money because, like I said before, the service charges, so I don't spend a lot of my debit and it saves me in service charges my service charges every month is about 390 so three dollars and ninety cents and i think after 12 transactions it's like a dollar 25 so that's why i don't use my debit that often and whenever i get paid i withdraw the money it's really hot in chatham on this Beautiful Friday afternoon going into evening. I'm actually just heading to the bank and then I'm gonna head home and cook dinner. I had the potatoes in the oven, so I had my girlfriend watch the potatoes while I run to the bank. We're having baked potatoes, barbecue chicken, and vegetables. So all of our flyers done. We did one route of flyers yesterday and one route today. And then our other papers we had to do on Wednesday, we did one uh, Thursday, and we're going to do one tomorrow, which is Saturday. Wednesday, I just didn't want to do papers. I just wanted to enjoy my day without needing to go out and do something. There's just some days I just rather not do nothing. I don't know about you guys, but there's just some days I just don't want to get out of the house. And there's some days I just want to get out of the house. came out of the bank and I went to the Dollar Tree just to browse around and I ended up buying a few things. Guys, my dinner, I didn't show you guys a lot of things that I ate today, but some things that I did eat, I did show you guys like my lunch and my shake this morning. So I'm gonna show you guys my dinner now. Dinner consists of barbecue chicken. These are just barbecue legs with veggies. Half my plate is veggies with a baked potato for my carbs. So protein, carbs, and veggies. It's chow down. It is July the 28th. It is Sunday, so today is gonna be the last day I'll be vlogging, but I'm heading to Splash Pad with some family, and then we're gonna be coming over for a barbecue. I'm not sure what we'll be having, maybe burgers or just hot dogs, depending on 
if uh, burgers are on sale at uh, Food Basics. So if they're on sale, then I'll definitely get the burgers. If not, then I'll just have hot dogs. I have lots of hot dogs at home, and I just need to go get buns. So after that, we'll be getting to Food Basics. So I'll see you guys at the park. Well, let's go. At the park, and I'm just gonna show you guys the hill at uh, Kingston Park for those who aren't around this area. So this is not for those who are in Chatham, but for those who aren't from Chatham. So here is the hill that I was, I kind of grew up on this because we used to come here sledding through, uh, or I should say not sledding, but tobogganing throughout the winter time. And they changed the hill so much since I was a kid. And I think from what I heard, they've lowered the hill down a little bit. I'm not sure how they did that, but that's from what I heard. But I guess it makes it nice when it's nice and windy outside. Oh, there's people up here. So this is the hill. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some things to sit on. Oh, the splash pad is over here. It's nice up here. One thing I don't like is littering. Really? You got a litter? So, this is the hill. Splash pad. Over there are the change rooms. I think someone was jogging. And that's one thing they, they've added to the park too. They have these, uh, this trail that you can jog in around. And there's like exercising equipment also over there, which I shall I'll show you guys when I get the chance. I think, I've, I think I had showed you guys that in the vlog. But wow, it's so hot. The sun is like beaming on me. Hill, you can walk up. There are steps now, actual steps on the hill, which in my time, there wasn't any steps. I think we're gonna be sitting up here because all the pavilions are all taken. But as you can see, it's quite busy at the splash pad today. No one wants to stay home. They just wanna to come to the splash pad and stay cool. heading home and I was gonna have burgers and hot dogs for dinner but uh, I thought let's have pizza because I just don't want to cook anything right now even burgers I'll just go to the grocery store tonight and then have burgers tomorrow so burgers and hot dogs on the menu for tomorrow and maybe with a uh, coleslaw because I've been hooked on coleslaw lately and I've been putting these uh, this craft oil and vinegar on my coleslaw so we'll do that We'll see you guys when I get home, so let's go. 11 at 10 on a Sunday night, and I'm going to call it a night and then wrap the vlog up here. Uh, we went to the park today, uh, we came back. I didn't go to Food Basics right away because I had told you guys as soon as I was walking back home that I changed plans for dinner. We had end up having pizza at Coca's. Uh, tomorrow we might have hamburgers, I'm not sure. I went to Food Basics this evening to check out hamburger patties and they were about $10 for 12 uh, burger patties from uh, a selection. It's uh, frozen burger patties. So I thought, uh, let's make sausages. So it's either gonna be sausages or burgers tomorrow. I might end up having sausages with some potatoes and some veggies. I know this week I haven't really been updating you guys much on about uh, what I've been eating and what I've been doing. Be patient, I will give you guys more in-depth details on what I'm doing throughout this lifestyle change. I've been doing great for my first week 
Uh, and overall, I think I've lost a couple of ounces, so I'm going to keep you guys all updated on my weight as well. i to wrap the vlog here, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's vlog. As always, if you guys didn't, you guys want to see more vlogs like this one, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn on my post vacation on so you never miss a vlog. All my links, my social media will be in the description, so do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming vlogs. So until next week, peace out. What are you doing? I'm a pineapple head. Please come see me. I'm a pineapple head. What is your favorite fast food? And let me know what you guys like to get there. And I might do your choice for the next review. If you guys still haven't checked out today's food review and unboxing on the snack crate, I do highly recommend you guys check it out. The link will still be in the bio. And as always, let me know what you guys all think. And if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. grilling burgers today i didn't want to cook so i just wanted something quick and easy so here are my burgers they look good